So let's talk about this list before we get running into a league because there's a lot of great suggestions. The problem I think with the suggestions is that I think I wanna run this once without taking too many of them because a lot of the suggestions are actually what I think diluting the list's power. And what I mean by the power here is that we're focusing on things like a Mark Grave and Persist because these are brand new cards and these are the things that got added to reanimator packages. But you have to remember, if you just were to like hide these five cards that I currently have, this is Vesper Lark Reanimator, and Vesper Lark Reanimator strived on Vesper Lark, Footsteps, Body Double, and Legendary plus Non-Legendary Creatures. Everyone that suggested something has suggested a Non-Legendary Creature, yet I have three Legendary Creatures here. And I think I want to give them a shot, because getting an Iona on turn two is completely possible with a list. And it's unlikely because I only have one Iona, but you play an Iona on turn two you probably lock out a whole bunch of lists. And so we're still in the mindset that this could be a lock list. We're doing Woodfall Primuses with Ve Footsteps of the Goryeo. Footsteps of the Goryeo is a reanimation spell with things like Vesper Lark. Digs is deeper with Sitzer's Supplier, does things with Woodfall, Woodfall and Ashen Rider as well. And I think for those that are suggesting things, it's kind of like going back to iteration one where we had <clears throat> Gifts Ungiven, a lot of people for months after suggest gifts and given as the only way to play reanimator and then we five owed sticking with it fluffy but i think it's just kind of like a fun list i'm not expecting to win anything crazy here but let's go over what's been changed and what adds here so persist here and i think the biggest suggestion that i've gotten on the discord along with just talking to some people is archon of cruelty this is kind of like the Uro of the sky, if you will. And we can get this out as a 5-5. Five, five. We've also dropped one Woodfall Primus because of Persist. It still can be a good 5-5, five, five, just blow up some permanent. So we're keeping that. We do have 10 slots here, but that's also because we have more reanimation spells than Persist, not just Footsteps plus Vesper Lark. You'll even notice I've cut a Vesper Lark. A thing that is missing here that I don't think I should be taking out is Jace Vryn's Prodigy. I think if Iona doesn't do a lot here, I would take one Iona out, and then I would take one, maybe Vesper Lark, and just slam in Jace Vryn's Prodigy here in the two slot. But we'll see how that goes. You're just listing out big dudes? Yeah, big dudes. Good stuff. Give you one dollar to replace a Brutality with a Bone Shards? No. <clears throat> I think they are great suggestions. I think the Grave Titan suggestion was a good one, and I think that could be nice. If that betrays, probably is not. It's a big creature. Uh, I'm surprised no one suggested Inkwell Leviathan. Just saying, that's a pretty good one. Um, I think I like the idea of a Grave Titan just because it probably would fit in here nicely and be something you could hit with Persist. But I like the idea of challenging the list to play the legendary creatures because the legendary creatures are probably the stronger things to do. We need a Persist or a Vesper Lark. We have seven of those. Dump a Body Double, which can be found with an Unmarked Grave. And we can also get our Iona. So we'll see how that plays out. We got the Stitchers and Hedron Crabs. Plenty of fetch lands. Got a random Glass Pool Mimic here as well. Let's just go play. And we'll see if we can get through the pool league for the night. Again, just a fun league. We're just going to try to reanimate and do some pretty broken things. Let's play magic. Sire of Insanity is kind of an interesting one. <clears throat> Sire of Insanity is kind of an interesting one because, yeah, it just stays there and then you, what, dump cards or something like that? All right. Starting off looks fantastic. Let's keep. Hedron Crab, go for it. If we fail on Mark Grave into a footsteps, Woodfall, blow him up. Oh, let's go. And I don't run as many unmarked graves because I don't think we need to. Oh, cookbook. Cookbook. That's fine. All right. Let's go get a godless shrine here. This is looking... It's looking fantastic. Mill ourselves a whole bunch here. Let's see what we hit. Footsteps, Collective Brutality, Marsh Flats, Hedron Crab, Plains, Glass Pool. So clearly, I need to do an unmarked grave here. Unmarked grave. I'm going to put the Woodfall Primus in the yard and pass turn because I have a footsteps. 
Your move, opponent. This is your favorite deck of ours? I I like this one, too. This is a fun one. It's just fun. I, I can't not play this with oh, it's smiling. It's good stuff. All right, we're discarding. We're doing this thing with this uh, oval chase daredevil. They get to play this thing. That's fine. Keep in mind that Woodfall Primus doesn't kill this stuff. So you could have gotten an Archon, but I want to keep a 5-5 on the battlefield. Well, here's a dollar for fun at least. For fun at least? Great. Thank you. Who's ready to uh, blow up some lands? Troll? Troll? Troll's already here. Ooh. All right. So we're going to do the Polluted Delta here. More because we could hit Iona, and that would make things really crazy. Let's get... We can do a Swamp here. Mill, mill, mill. There's Vesperal Arc, so Body Double plus Iona would be there. There's a Body Double. We don't... We don't hit what I want, but we can actually do some cool things here. So we're going to reanimate Body Double here. Body Double is going to come back as a Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus is going to blow up a land. We're going to persist the Body Double. Body Double is persisted. We get a Vesper Lark. Sorry, Woodfall as the Body Double gets persisted as a Vesper Lark. Vesper Lark dies, evoking back Body Double. Body Double brings back Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus here to blow up a land and non persisted Woodfall Primus as Body Double. We good. You following? That's what I thought. Hey, we have green mana now. All right, let him smack me. That's cool. I will block. Cool things happen here. You want to know what's cool here? Woodfall Primus to Eyes, Body Double. Could be Festering Troll, but we're going to get a Vesper Lark back. Vesper Lark triggers on the Body Double. Body Double brings back Woodfall Primus. Goodbye, land. Or cookbook. Land. The loop has been established. My opponent realizes it and is like, what? Uh, let's put a blight, bright climb into play only because no damage and could hit that one of them burial rights. We do not. So I guess we're attacking for six. I have played very little Commander. I just come up with little brainchilds that happen. <laughs> so Last God, thank you so much for the dollar. What's up, Avaros? We gonna play Commander soon? Opponent discards a land. No, sorry, they're discarding this thing. What am I talking about? Imagine if I top deck at footsteps. Oh, look, Troll's gonna be back. Troll. Have I seen the new lantern list? No. Troll's back. Attack for three. That's fine. I'll go to 12. Imagine if I get another footsteps, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that's basically just as good. Now, I don't have the body double, um, which is kind of funny, but I could glass pull mimic the woodfall primus here. I could also persist away the archon here. Let's go ahead and put a Watery Grave into play. This lets me mill more. More options, more options. There's an Unburial Rites. Now I just Unburial Rites the Ashen Rider here, probably. We're doing this to get rid of the troll. <laughs> Goodbye, troll. Get out of here. By the way, it exiles it. It's not coming back. <laughs> yes, good start. Could have persisted as well, persisting a Vesper Lark. Vesper Lark dies and gets Glass Pool. Glass Pool on um, Woodfall Primus says it's in. Attack for six. They can't really block because then they lose stuff and I persist back. All the good stuff. You know, Vesper Lark things. Nice food deck. Exactly. Um,. So to me, the best thing probably is just damn. Probably. So 
is what a seven six 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 trolls a six six uh da, 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 da. what's kind of interesting here is it's it's like you gotta figure out how you wanna go after this um because seal of cleansing could be kind of interesting Ashiok could be interesting I don't think Iona is very strong here. They do search for the book and the troll. Makes me think like one collective brutality here and just potentially the two Ashioks. It's probably not bad to have one dam in here too. But maybe I just do the two Ashioks. To get a few things out, the dam's not that bad of an idea here. I'm going to cut the glass pool mimic and try that. A little risky. Would like to have 23 lands, but let's try it. If I draw a stitcher or something, it could be fun. If I draw nothing, we don't do anything. I do have enough lands. That's always a good thing. Let's keep for science here. Let's get blown away here. Not concerned. They're going to thought seize us or whatever. Or book us. Or goose us, apparently. All right. By the way, 22 lands. Shouldn't be drawing lands. Let's go. Deck list is not... Doesn't exist. My goose is cooked. You're going to have to grab a screenshot between rounds. Fetching, goosing, booking, trolling, fooding, this creatureing. Keep in mind, this is turn two. Just play a tap land past turn. I think we're pretty dead here. This is where that one of dam would be better than the Ashiok, possibly. In for three. All right. You got it. Another goose. Three mana, Fester and Troll. Or three food. Right? It's three? Yeah. Nom nom nom. Well, we should have uh, kept an enabler. Oh gosh, they put another festering down. Is this troll legendary? It's not. It take 10 here. Not sure what I can do. Fat shock. Just blow the world up. All right. I'm bringing the dams in. I don't care about their graveyard. <clears throat> I can deal with a pestering troll on the battlefield. I can't deal with all that, all that junk in the graveyard. All right. Switched. Let's go. Terminus off the top. Oh my gosh. I forgot. Evan, when are we playing commander on Saturday? That's the only answer I want. This looks fun. Keep. This this looks fun. Alright. Hallowed found to start. Crab past turn. Hope for the best here. We got Persist and Vesper Lark. Can they win without the troll? I think they can. Yeah, but what time on Saturday? Cat. All right, we've got a cat here. We've got double persist here. Let's see a big one in the gar yard. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to persist the crab. You didn't see that one coming. Persisted crab. <laughs> oh, no. That Urza Saga land. Let's get a fetch land off the top. Fetch land off the top. Fetch land off the top. 
Witches Oven, Cookbook, Fetchland. Oh, all right, let's go. Dumping graveyard here. We're gonna go get a watery grave. I don't need it untapped here. Let's see what we hit, shall we? Always yield. All right. So we hit three Ashen Riders and some Stitchers. Well, I could persist an Ashen Rider here and I could exile the Urza Saga. All right, so what's the scariest thing here? Sacrifice, create food, da 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 da. Sac enters battlefield, sack food, all that. This, I feel like I wanna just get rid of the saga here. I mean, you know, why not? Boom, saga, goodbye. <clears throat> One less land to deal with. Yeah, it's busted. Eh, it's all right. <clears throat> draws, straws with street race here. I do have a flying 4-4 four, four here. They get their cat back. We trade lives. They make a toke of food as well. All right. Cool. They, they ditched a land, by the way. They put a tap land in. All right. New book. All right, what side of this do I need? Probably more white. Whatever. All right. Mill some cards here. Could hit a body double plus something. We hit an Unburial Rites. I have a Woodfall Primus here and another Ashen Rider. I probably just Unburial Rites the Ashen Rider because it's just better here. So let's go ahead and Unburial the Ashen Rider. And then this probably just targets. Ah, uh, we are running the black arc on. We just haven't run into it yet. Let's just get rid of another land and hit for four. If I top deck another land, we're going to play a body double. <clears throat> You think I hit the oven? Mm. Too late. It's only one oven. I suppose if they get another oven, it gets really awkward, right? Maybe that's the reason. There's a goose. The goose is in the air. Two cards. One of them was Blooming Marsh. Cat in the graveyard. Another body double, not what I wanted. I mean, I'm gonna hit him for nine here. Do I need to defend? I don't think I do. We're just gonna cast a Vesper Lark. If I hit the land, I'm playing the body double out of hand. I'm not trying to evoke a Vesper Lark. Extra 2 1 body in the air. They do the cat thing. Sure. Can we get there? I'm on three watery graves. I guess I have to worry about another oven, but at the same time, I'm hitting for 11 in the air. Should be good. Land. One unknown card. Combat? Pew, pew, pew. Lethal? I guess it's not lethal. They get to eat some foods. Not quite lethal. They eat enough food here to survive for a turn. Do I just kill this? 
because this is the only thing I'm doing this turn. They bring it back. Glass Pool Mimic is in the list, but it's in the sideboard right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill this. I would just bring it back. But this gains three. Yeah, we'll just wait. <clears throat> we'll just wait. What do you got? Maybe the oven was the correct thing to kill earlier. It's kind of scaring me, but hey, you know, the food deck, we ate them. Delicious. Land would have milled one, two, three, four, five, six. And we could have body doubled a finally an Archon. The food can be beaten. 1 0. Looks good. Let's go. <laughs> Most competitive list? No. Fun. 10 out of 10. Two enablers, two lands here, one a third land. Fetch land would be the best. We're going to keep this. Uh, collective Brutality wouldn't be bad to see here to get rid of Body Double and Ashen Rider. Looking for that third land. What is this? Uh oh Land. Fetch land, best land. Ooh. Need one more land. One more land. Come on. Help me out, deck. One fetch land right here. We are streaming. We had some uh, things to attend to. Fetch land. No. You are the crap. I kind of want to go after them, but I know I need to go after myself here. I'm going to hate watching six lands go to the gra graveyard. All right, there weren't as many lands. There was only two. Only two. Windswept would have been nice. No creatures, by the way. Another one of these tap lands pays white. Engineered on one. Fetch land. All right. I'm not going to put the crab down because we're just going to do some cool fetching here. We are going to go looking for probably just a swamp at this point. Maybe a water. Eh, water grape. Let's go. All right. Let's see what we hit here. Surely we can hit something really cool. Uh, I could mill them out, but they've got the EE on one. I'm not going to bother with it. There's a body double. There's an unburial rights. Those look good. Looking for a creature. We have several hits. There's an Archon. Woodfall. Thank you. All right, we do hit Woodfall. So, Woodfall Primus. I guess, actually, let's go ahead and let's do something different here. Let's do something different. Persist Body Double. You may draw, opponent. Enjoy. Body Double, Woodfall Primus here. Boom. What? Engineered? Get out of here. Why? Because these don't die. All right, <clears throat> engineered, poof, goodbye. Nice. Oh, sacrifice. This is why the deck is built off footsteps. Body double. Zale, you are correct. What is this? The Archon of Cruelty? When this ETBs or attacks the opponent, sacks a creature, or plains or discards a card, loses three life, we draw. And gain three. You are always correct. Don't clip that. Don't quote that. If you do, I probably won't ban you because you're Zale. But have this moment. Just cherish, cherish this moment. Boom. Get out of here, Esper Sentinel. I want to draw a card. I didn't really want to draw that. I think at this point, uh, if I get another fetch land, I'll probably play crab and just blast them just to see what else they're playing. It is fun, isn't it? <laughs> How's the league going? Doesn't matter. 10 out of 10. We're loving it. Shadow Spear. Not to mention a 5-5's five gray here. Oh, maybe a... Oh, 
Oh, maybe I don't want to mill them. <laughs> Hold on. Milling them might be a bad idea. What can I do with an armor and grave now? Nothing. So we attack here. Because I get to draw a card, right? Woo! Woo! That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what I want. Oh gosh, I hit a persist. I hit a persist. I hit a persist off that. Well, that just would fall and boom. All right, so the only things we got to see is that my opponent has some affinity things, metallic rebukes, Urza Saga. So we're playing against essentially an Urza Saga, Urza, sorry, Urza Lord Ard, blah, blah, blah. Four mana Urza doing things. Suppose Seal of Cleansing is probably okay. Destroy target artifact. Yeah, Urza things. Could name blue with Iona. That'd be hilarious. So we'll keep Iona in. I kind of want the Elish Norns. Elish, Elish kind of looking interesting. Opponent might do some searching. There might be were in there. Maybe not. We didn't see like enough. I almost think the Woodfalls are actually a little bit worse. They have so many indestructible lands. What if I did this? And instead of a Collected Brutality, one seal and give it a shot. You like damn? Maybe. Go wide and all that. Well... I mean, I think I think going wide, that's the whole point of the Elish Norn here. We'll we'll see though. This this hand's not completely busted. It was good until that card showed up. <laughs> so you know what we might do? We might we might mill them for a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Karmic Guide was an interesting thought here. It's a 2-2, two -two, doesn't come back with Vesper Lark. I'm already doing stuff with the footsteps of the Gorio and stuff. I don't know if I really need to worry about it. All right, let's force the issue here a little bit. The Tormod's Crypt's got to be fired off eventually. So there we go. There's an Archon. So let's go get a godless shrine here. I'm going to mill them now. And I'm going to attempt a persist on our Archon here to blow the Tormod's Crypt. There we go. Cool. All right. Out of the way, if we hit another land, we got the footsteps. They get to draw a card. Had to get past it anyway at some point. Better to do it now than later. I can always collect a Brutality, the Ashen Rider, in next turn, killing Esper Sentinel as well. Oh gosh. There's two of them. Fetch land, finding Woodfall Primus would be a bee's knees. Well, basic land. I'll take it. Show me Woodfall Primus right here. Woodfall Primus or Archon one time. Dang it, there's my seal of cleansing. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll do a collective brutality here. Um, let's do two modes to kill and check. Let's get rid of Ashen Rider. I probably won't pay for this so I can play the Stitcher, right? About to get the footsteps and arc on possibly. Oh, whoa, wow, Metallic Rebuke. That's now I kinda wanna pay for this. No draw for you. That was rude. Yeah, let's pay. Archon of Cruelty is pretty hype. Alright, let's see how bad this Urza stuff's gonna go. I don't think it's going to be that bad because I just footsteps and blow up everything they're going to try to do here. 
They think they're going to do things. That's hilarious. What are they doing? Tapping an infinite mana here. It's like they think it's going to do something to me. I hope they don't have another Tormod script. Let's bring Leaf Drum. Cool. Land. Cool. I could exile both the blue lands. That'd be hilarious. All right, so I think I want to I want to make sure they're not drawing here. I kind of hate flooding my graveyard with stuff, but we're going to go ahead and do it. We'll get another black source here. Um, we might hit the unburial rights, which interests me. We might also persist appropriately here. Doesn't look like we are, but I'll try a stitcher here. Not worried about them drawing at this point. And then we'll footsteps back. I mean, I guess it just footsteps the Ashen Rider at this point. We're going to do it twice anyway. I don't care if you draw a card. Ha have your card, opponent. Stubborn Denial. All right. Whatever. Um. Yeah. There's a couple... Weird ways to go about it. We could have blown up both lands, blown up Saga plus this, the following footsteps, both lands. It looks like I'm just going to have two constructs we've got to deal with, which is, is doable as well. We can put steps to Archon again and kill both creatures. Dang it. Opponent finds another Tormod script. That might be lights out for us. Luckily, we're up a game. Blocking. None of that I wanted. That's good. Another Sentinel. They just draw all the cards, don't they? Well, I'll try to get a Nashen Rider here. The Tormod's Crypt, I'll probably concede. <laughs> I'll probably concede. Man, I kind of want a Stony Silence over my seals that I have. Something to think about. Could play the Ley Lines. The creatures are too big. I don't like Elish Norn anymore. Yeah, double check the wording on Tormod script. If that's their choice, leyline them. Leyline them. We could we could bring the dams in as well. Now now knowing a little bit more, we can glass pull out, seal of cleansing probably out, leyline dam. Is Iona really hitting a whole lot? It would name blue at this point. We're gonna go no and dam again. That's not too bad, probably. I don't have as many Woodfall Primuses. And I was asking for them there. All my other cards hit um, Urza Saga. I think, I think I want these Woodfall Primuses back in. There's enough to hit. That's probably important to have these. I'm going to actually do something a little different here. We're going to get rid of all the collective brutalities here. And I'm going to bring in another dam. And so if we get something stuck in hand, it's stuck. But I have a lot of hits. You don't think Archon's very good? But it makes them sacrifice a creature. And when we're ahead, this wins. I don't know, I kind of like the Archon. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one Elish instead of the Dam because they have the Esper Sentinels, right? That's what it was. Let's look for those Ley Lines. Hey, all right. We're gonna keep this. I get the Ley Line, which protects me. I've got some fetch lands and crazy things and crabs gonna like go dumpster crazy here. I do have an Elish Norn that's clearly stuck in hand because I got rid of all the collected brutalities. So I only have one more to hit. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hit some cool stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. I did look at Priest of Felrites. It is on the radar because it's an interesting way to attack. Getting something that was the idea of going to the Teferi route, reanimate at end step, then it's hasted. If it's hasted out, you can do the sack um and three life, I think it was, and bring something back. It, it interested me. Ooh, expedition map. Okay. Vesper Lark's excellent to see here. Go get our watery gray. Or actually, I'm gonna go get a planes. Could hit body double here and and something busted. Archon, show me a body double. No body double. Second Archon though. All right. Pass turn. Yeah, the list is pretty tight with the Vesper Larks since we added them back in. It's always been a little bit of a, I won't say a pain to figure it out. Show me a Footsteps in Hand and Fetch Land here for Woodfall Primus. All right, we hit a Fetch Land. We can go get Basic Swamp here. Oh, I milled over my Basic Swamps. <laughs> um... You get a Hallowed Fountain here. I already have the Watery Grave. If anything, we're only evoking Vesper Lark, so down it goes. There's Woodfall. Need a Body Double. All right. We found an Umburial Rite, so we get to do that next turn. It's not the worst. They may have enough mana here, though, to counter Umburial Rites. Dark Steel Citadel. They're not tapping out here. <laughs> Talc Rebuke is a thing. All right. We're going to do something a little different here. I'm going to crab. I'm going to just play Watery Grave here, tapped. We're going to try to play around the Rebuke, which I think we can do. Double mill ourselves past turn. Gives us just tons of options next turn. Tons of options. They make a construct, that's totally fine. You may have your big construct. Trigger. Go find something. Make another one. We get Vesper Lark back crap or Stitcher. Don't forget about Stitcher. I want a body double, obviously. <laughs> body double Elish Norn wouldn't be a bad thing at this point. Footsteps of the Gorio on the Ashen Riders would be really great too. Exile some things. We're thinking about this Urza's trigger here. They decide to make another 4-4. Four, four, which will become a 5-5? Five, five? I'll probably take 5. That's not that scary. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Tax for six. I'll take six. It's a lot. Chunk. All right. Footsteps to Gorio. Stitcher, huh? All right. I'm going to mill a little bit more. It's getting scary here. I'm going to mill the island here. I'm going to mill and mill them one. Because we I'm getting kind of close to everything here. All right. There's a persist. Ashen Rider. Come on, body double. There we go. All right. So I found the body double. Talc Rebuke is currently down. 
Is that right? How many footsteps have I hit? I see one, two, three. I see a bunch of persists. I was gonna say they just have this, so I'm kind of kind of tempted to like unburial rights. Instead, which makes me want a stitcher here just to see what else I could hit. I could take them off blue. I could also just like Vesper Lark back an Archon here, make them sacrifice one of these. I could also just bring one of these back and exile one of these. Let's unburial a Ashen Rider here. I think I just hit a construct, because then when they attack, I block. I can I can I can block for a while now. They'll spell bomb if they have the blue, that's fair. Then I'll block with the Hedron Crab. We got we got time. Lots of time. Let them let them do whatever they want. This is my opponent's chance here to do crazy things. Opponent went and got an island anyway. They can fetch for it as well. Yeah. Bounce Archon. Nope, Emery. Whew. All right. Now you're not attacking, right? <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more land here for Elish Norn. One, two, blue. What is Metallic Rebuke? How's it worded? Oh my gosh. Hard, not care. Judge. Two and blue. Improvise. So, to avoid that nonsense here. I have one Vesper Lark in the yard, so I have another one to draw. No more Imburials. I kind of want a Vesper Lark and Ashen Rider here to get rid of the Emery. Emery kind of scares me. So let's evoke. Get the body double. We're playing around the Metallic Rebuke. Get the Ashen Rider. Ashen Rider gets rid of the Emery. And we have two 5-5s five in the air. They might bounce one. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw another land here, we can actually just hard cast Ashen Riders all day long. So I just got to watch that I have 18 cards left. Come on, body double. Come on back. I could get their sentinels too. Woo! Alright, Emery, get out of here. And I'm tempted to not attack this turn. Light climb and mill them. I'm do the white side here. I don't need any more black. And like I said, time to start milling them. After all, we're done milling ourselves. Let's just hope they can't hit anything crazy. Stubby D is kind of something to remember. Cool. I don't want to play Stitcher. I kind of want to draw cards at this point. Oh, white mana. Whoa! Wow! Dispatch. Okay. Oh, no. Saga. Round four, fight. Oh no, Urza. All right, it's getting kind of hand out of hand. Now they can bounce. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. 
Where's the where's our, our dams? We only have one in the yard. It could hit a dam here. That being said, I don't think I can pay for metallic rebuke. Come on, land. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't think a land does it for me here. I don't know, maybe my opponent attacks me for some reason instead of bouncing. <coughs> Bounce. I do believe I need to... Ooh, I did not block. I clicked through. That's not good. Damn. Oh, I hit a watery grave. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, Rebuke is currently off. Hope for no stubborn and I. I could cast Ashen Rider. Elish Norn saves us. What? Huh? It says flying. <clears throat> Would die. No, I wouldn't die. Kills monitor, then what? I don't know. Do you think they have another Aether spell bomb? Because otherwise, I just kind of want to do Ashen Rider, get Reverza. The Lord, not the land. If I blow up all this stuff here, don't they just get me anyway if they have that? Do we have seven out eight? Oh, then what am I thinking about? Shock it in. Let's go. Mill the hem. We're going for the mill plan. Maybe I should have been doing that from the beginning. <laughs> go, 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 Elish Norn. Boom, things die. All right, pass turn. Go, go, Power Rangers. All right, we lose. Good game. Good game. They attack with everything. I can block two. We're not going to let our crabs die. That's rude. Bummer. Bummer. Good fight, though. Good fight. Couple fetch lands. We were looking for, like, the footsteps or whatever. Not happening. There, there's... There you go. <laughs> that was a good fight, though. I like that. Archon's... Or Ashen Riders, it is an Archon, it was probably better. I probably should not have taken so many Woodfall Primuses out. I think our sideboard second part was probably a little bit better. Obviously, Seal Cleansing could have hit a few things. It's a, just a question of how far into our reanimation spells did we want to go versus how far did we want to try to interact with them. I'm not disappointed. That was fun. On to match number three. <laughs> Dispatch is brutal. Brutal. Yeah, that Urza's uh, Saga Land. It's real deal. It's the real deal. That is for sure. Let's find that next land or next opponent. Yeah, I don't have this list uploaded. Should I just get it uploaded? I can upload it probably pretty quick. We're in the queue, we're waiting. Export. We're still queued, we're still queued, right? Uh oh, locked up now. <laughs> Downloads this list. Grab. Submit a list. The TCG. Uh oh.
We get to play first. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, this is an interesting hand. This probably isn't going to work. <laughs> right? Probably mulligan this, right? Bam. Nightbot has the command right now. All right, cool. We're good now. We're going to mulligan this hand. <laughs> we need a better hand. Ooh, okay. If we draw something, it'll be interesting. Let's keep. Keep, put back a collective brutality, and off we go. What's up, MJT? I'm not sure if Goldfish is easier to download from. Nah, we... We uh, put it through TCG so that the link is a referral to us. We got the Shrine here. Hopefully no crab. I think it's okay to wait one more turn here to collect a brutality if we draw something crazy. But no, last guy, we put it through TCG because, yeah. If we don't, other people get the referral. All right, little Mistress Bobble here. We got a land, we got a Bobble in the yard. We have a Lava Dart now. It's not quite Delirium. Up, oh, creature, it's Delirium. You know what's really good against this list? Iona on red. All right, these are three threes. They big. They're flying as well. So, I need help. Hmm. <laughs> I draw land. Hooray. Let's two mode. And get rid of the swamp here. All right. Opponent's got some lands. I'm scared. I mean, we're dying in like two more turns here. We just need to hit an Archon. That's all we need to do. Grab or Stitcher, Archon. Oh my gosh, they're going to kill me. Those are two hot draws off their bobble. Plus they have Lava Dart here to make this even beefier. Oh my gosh. We're dying. Fast. I don't think we have a shot here. Six, seven, eight. Go to six. Sunbay Canyon hand. Crab. All right. Let's go to game two. Game two, but we have cards for this list. We have Play Lines. Resolute. Potentially Elishnorn. Dams. Woo! All right. What are we taking out? Amar Grave feels a little slow, but could be like the finding of Iona and stuff. So I'm gonna hold there. I mean, I really think a lot of what we've got going on isn't too bad. Umbarium is probably too slow. Archons could be potentially too slow. Although they're a nice blocker, we have crabs and stitchers. We also have Vesper Larks as blockers at the lower end. We really wanna be hitting like Elish Norn. So we'll get rid of all the Archons. In this case, I am going to drop one persist here as well. Let's go ahead and start getting some stuff in here. I do want to interact with my opponent. I think the dams are a good idea. Glass pool can now come out here, and I need three more. It's probably unmarked grave. I have three here. I have ten hits still. Let's take one unmarked grave out. Let's go down one dam and let's go down. 
Let's go down a Woodfall Primus. No. I'm going to go down a Collector Brutality. I know the Collector Brutality is there for life gain and getting rid of something, but we have Resolute and Leyline. I want to be able to interact with my opponent a little bit. We're trying to use Woodfall to persist things back. Well, this is not the hand. It's kind of interesting because you could like crab then try to persist, but I own a Woodfall Primus. I mean, what could I hit? I could hit a Resolute Archangel. I almost have to wait on the crab. Do we try this? Oh my gosh, I'm going to try it. We're here to learn things. We're going to wait, though, because I think the crab is an enabler enough that I'm going to wait for the marsh flats to be played after I play crab so that we can get kind of the best value for the potential persist. They're not going after my hand, right? No ley line in hand, unfortunately. <clears throat> Let's go. Ah, scalding turn. Ah, mountain. Ah. Here's this thing again. All right. Heat and crab. Lands. We're going to go ahead and mill ourselves a bunch here, too. Just because they can't interact with my crab right now. So we get a lot in the graveyard. Go ahead, opponent. We hit a dam, stitcher, ley line, footsteps, and ashen rider. All right. All right. We can do this persist thing. Extra land here, extra dragons range, extra dragons. Where's the Elish Norn? Body double Elish Norn. Let's go. It's just a bobble. Surveil one does nothing. Does nothing. Nothing. Bobble. Take a footsteps of the Gorio off the top. <laughs> Checks what we're drawing. Collect a Brutality. Okay. This can get fun. Let's do Marsh Flats. Here. Let's go ahead and fetch. We can get another Watery Grave. Looks fine here. Tapped. Collect a Brutality. Ashen Rider. All the good stuff. Good, good, good. Then we're going to like 10 mode this. Get rid of Woodfall and Iona. Let's get rid of a Lightning Bolt. Your move, opponent. We're at 20. Woo! We have a Lava Dart and a Scalding Tarn. Bobble, draw, and draw for turn. Scalding Tarn is played. Blood Moon! Mm. Let's see here. Swamp already in the graveyard. Plains, islands. It's so funny. If I would have fetched the basic swamp, we'd probably win this because I can persist away the Resolute Archangel here. I already have the plains gone, so I'm going to block with the Hegean Crab. Dang it. Wasn't thinking of Blood Moon. Oh, these fly too. Ugh. Oh, they fly. Give me the swamp off the top here. Dang it. That's my mistake. Should have fetched the basic swamp there. Bummer. Bummer. That one mana 3 3 fire is good. It's all right. It's all right. That's my mistake. Because we would have gotten a Resolute Archangel and would have been probably okay. 
from there. Then you just find one footsteps and you clear the board. I guess, I mean, you know, mono, mono, mono red. It's gonna do its thing. One, two though. Let's see if we can get a bounce back here and get the two, two with the Vesper Larks. I feel good about it. I feel good. We got two matches left tonight. Thylian, this is one of the first times I've gotten to play Modern since Modern Horizon 2 really came out. It's doing all right. We haven't played a whole lot because of some some things that happens. Uh, family things for the weekend, so. It's been okay. Hasn't been too bad. It's diverse. Interesting things going on. I've yet to Blood Moon and Urza player, unfortunately. I would like to do that so I could just blow up the Urza land. But in general, it's been pretty, pretty enjoyable. All right, we're one, two. My opponent is oh, one. Let's play first. Let's look for an enabler, although this is a bit of an enabler. We do have one land, though. We need a little more than that. This hand looks good. We'll keep this. Um, probably can just get rid of the collective brutality. And let's see if we can get a fetch here on the the crab and persist something like big hardened scales all right that sounds good let's get a watery grave we will shock this in just in case we hit something amazing mill 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 ourselves ashen rider woodfall primus body double these all sound real good um yeah let's get an ashen rider back that's that's fun Get rid, of, get rid of hardened scales. Get out of here. Easy clap. We're trying. We're, we're trying. They're like, what? Huh? What's happening? Ancient strains. Throne. That's fine. You can have throne. Oh my gosh, it's Urza's Saga again. Here's the little bee. All right. Mill ourselves some. I'll play a stitcher here or attempt to. There we go. Mill ourselves some more. And attack for four past turn. All right, so let's see if we can beat Urza Saga here. I'm glad I got rid of the hardened scales. Not very often you get to get rid of a hardened scales on turn two with an uh, Ashen Rider. Ancient Strains to follow this up. They get another bug. I think they did. Hold on. Never mind. They don't have another bug. Yes, they do. Another Urza Saga here. This has not flying. Footsteps of the Gorio. Oh, give me the footsteps of the Gorio. All right. I guess I'll take a persist. Land, mill, start there. Do you think naming green is good enough? Do, do we think naming green is good enough? We can get Iona here. We can get a 7-7 seven, seven Iona. I can get an unpersisted Woodfall Primus. What do we think? Kind of want an unpersisted Woodfall. I could get an unpersistent Ashen Rider. I think I want to just get Iona. I mean, why not, right? Persist back a Vesper Lark, Vesper Lark Evoke, Body Double. Body Double comes back as the one, the only. Iona. We'll name green. Good luck, opponent. I'm going to attack with everything. 
Look at Ziona. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's see how much damage the Sirs of Saga stuff can do. We could have uh, gotten something back for the one that was going from two to three. But I don't think it's going to matter with me having an Iona in the air. We are currently presenting Lethal. Lethal presented. Because this does not have flying, right? It can gain fly. It can gain fly. Okay. Wow, they have a lot of different colors here. All right, we got there. We got there. We're going to draw for the turn, and then we're going to play a land, mill three, one, two, three, and not hit an unburial rights. All right. So, Seal of Cleansing looks a little bit stronger against this opponent. Iona's not so much. Elish Norn, possibly. Could see like a pair of dams here too. Maybe like these five. Take this out. Glass pool. One collective brutality. Maybe one archon. That's four. I only just talk about rights because once we start to get to four and five mana, it's kind of like, okay, I would wouldn't mind this falling into the graveyard. You could have another one, probably. But then it's like, do you do the Unmarked Grave or the Unburial Rites? We could probably just do Unburial Rites. We'll leave a seal at home. Sorry, seal. I haven't quite convinced myself that the seal is very good. Oh. All right, we'll keep this. We'll see what happens. Two enablers isn't a bad thing. Probably the bad thing here is that we don't have a persist, we don't have enough footsteps, and we don't have an unburial. This is a great hand where you would want that second unburial rights, right? It is good to have the lands, though. We, we, we do appreciate the lands, for sure. Let's play a Stitcher first here, because I think the crab could get picked off. We need a we need really an enabler before crab becomes crazy. Oh no. Help us all. Help us all. Well, we'll just flood. It's kind of kind of a fun thing to do. Alright, mill, 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 mill. A lot of good things. We're gonna just hang back in case I get the opportunity to block. It's not looking very good, though. Ozolith. I really want to kill this Ink Moth. So, Finding Persist, Footsteps. We have an Ashen Rider. We can get, we can get to the Ink Moth. We just need to get there somehow. It has to be Ashen Rider because Woodfall Primus, they turn into a creature and it gets... There's a problem. I have, I have a few lands here, yeah. Ink Moth, getting Ink Moth things in. Attacks for one. We'll let it go. One Infect. Alright, we hit the Persist. Now we just need... Well, we have the Ashen Rider already, so we're good to go. Let's see if we hit anything else that's interesting here. The answer is no. All right, but we can persist a Vesper Lark here. So we're going to persist the Vesper Lark. Vesper Lark comes back, body double. <clears throat> body double gives us an Ashen Rider and also leaves the Ashen Rider in case we find a footsteps here. Ashen Rider is going to hit the Ink Moth. All right. Problem averted. We good now. Now we want an Unburial Rites because we have an Ashen Rider in there. Woo! <laughs> Harden scales, that's fine. Ish. Land. One unknown card, and looks like they're casting. Walking Blista as a 2 2. Kill Crab.
Did not kill the crab. I think that was a mistake. We're going to get another basic here because I could hit Umburial. Ashen Rider, Ashen Rider, Woodfall Primus. Collective Stitcher. All right, I'm attacking for five in the air, pass turn. Punish for the mistake, what mistake? Have we hit a mistake? Might have hit a mistake. Sacrifice Spring Leaf Drum to do Arc Bound Ravager and Walking Ballista higher. We could die soon. That's scary. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Help. Help. <laughs> this doesn't look good. I'm blocking with Stitcher if I get the chance to. Oh, let the crab live? Yeah, I can't decide if that's really a mistake or not. Could be dead here. Could be dead because I didn't leave Vashon Rider back. One, two, three. Then Ozlith puts on here. Yeah, we're dead. They'll figure it out. 15, they got me. They're doing something else. Huh. Wouldn't matter if I left the Ashen Rider back. <laughs> they just had infinite damage. Drawing for the turn, body double, that would have done it. We would have been able to get rid of the Walking Ballista. Okay. I don't want to seal cleansing over one of the dams that I brought in. Okay. A little bit. And let's bring a Vindicate in. Let's try that. I'm gonna bring the Vindicate in because it can hit a few more things. It's not half a million lands. How about that? Uh, not a good card. Potentially great card. Decent card. Sometimes shouldn't be in the hand. <laughs> I'm on the play. Hmm. Hmm. I think I gotta go bigger. I think I've gotta go bigger because I don't think seal cleansing is gonna like really stop them. Oh, here. We can put back a land here too. Here we go again. Fluffy, don't keep a hand with a bunch of lands. This hand looks great. Hand has a bunch of lands. <laughs> Let's see if the Seal of Cleansing gives them a speed bump enough that we uh, get there with a Stitcher Supplier plus maybe some brilliant cards off the top. I'm going to fetch Shock for the Watery Grave just in case we do hit that crab. Stitcher. Seal Persist Archon. We have a hit. We have a hit. Arcbound Ravager, two hands. Burial Rites isn't the greatest. However, it's not the worst. Two, three turns, perhaps, we'll be uh, getting something back. In for one pass turn. Seal of Cleansing will make them play sporadically, hopefully. There's a Saga. It's an enchantment, right? I could kill this, right? That'd be funny. What if I do that? 
This works, right? This is enchantment land, right? Enchantment land. Boom. Ha! Stone rain. Got it. Ooh, crab. Crab. All right, crab's a good pickup here. I don't expect them to be playing Blood Moon, but just in case. But no, crab's a good one here. I can fill the graveyard and then I'm very all right. Something nice and big and beefy. <clears throat> Seal, knocking them off of land. That's kind of fun. Oh, here's this wasp thing and a worker. I'm going to go after them so I have a few more fetch lands to hit. I'm just going to pass the turn here. And I do have the Unburial Rites next turn, so we'll start doing something to them. Throne's not a bad one to see here to get with the Unburial Rites. Body double's pretty sweet here, too. We'll probably body double first. Got to take a little more damage here. All right, what do we got? The Woodfall Primus, Vesper Lark, and Archon. So I want to probably body double. I want to just body double the Woodfall Primus. And nail the throne. Let's do that. Cool. Woodfall Primus is 6-6 six, six Trampler. That's always nice. They'll use Throne. They'll make these a little bit larger. That's fine. What does this do? Oh. This land has modular. That's sweet. Till I exile it. <laughs> it's an artifact land. I guess I need to be aware of that. Harden Scales here. Gonna play an Arcbound Ravager? It's gonna get interesting. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Guess I'm gonna body double again since I drew that. We're gonna do Archon this time. Archon on the Arcbound Ravager to stop things from being sacrificed to moved around. They should sacrifice it to itself to at least move tokens or counters elsewhere. This is where when we hit about five mana and Zale's not wrong, you just start playing body double after body double and you're like, deal with the pressure. And then you get Unburial. This is two. Goes at it too. Let's swing. Whee! Whee! I have an Unburial in case they find an Ink Moth here. I can get an Ashen Rider. Pendle Haven. All right. Ozolith. And one unknown here. A walking ballista. Okay. Nothing can be sacrificed right now, so I have the ability to unburial Ashen Rider and get rid of the walking ballista. So that'll be what we probably do. Sacrifices this to put Modular and Ozolith. Okay. And this gets put on here. Actually, am I dead? This has flying? No, this does not have flying. This is at nine. Oh, footsteps. Okay. So I get Footsteps Ashen Rider here. So my opponent wins here if they can see it. Do you see it?
The question is, do you see it? So my opponents miss lethal. How do I make sure they don't see lethal? I believe I need to attack with everything. That way this is at least damaged. But if I attack with anything, they're going to see this. How do I make it look the least enticing here? So I'm pretty sure this would work, but you shoot this twice. This dies. It has two on it. Modular trigger here. Oh no, this is modular one, right? This. Never mind. I was thinking the two would go over here when they shot it twice, and then you get one more with hardened skills. Okay, so we might be we might be one off, right? Hold on. Under triggered ability would put one or more plus one plus one counters. So I need to like exile. All right. I think I think my line here is footsteps. Ashen Rider. Maybe I'm off by one. It's not the actual counters. It's modular one, right? Yeah. They needed one more mana, it looks like. I need them to not find another walking blist, I think. I guess I present lethal here. Because this is going to be leaving the battlefield and I've killed this. Blocks here, goes to one. Oh, blocks here. It's kind of interesting. Now we persist back, body double. Vesper Lark here. Vesper Lark gets back body double. Body double gets Archon now. Archon makes them sacrifice. And now the Ashen Rider leaving the battlefield, I can like kill Ozolith or something. And now this can only ping me for three. And yeah, I guess the modular one. My brain hurts. <laughs> Unmarked grave. We got there. 2-2. Two, two. Let's get that 3-2. My brain's exploding. Hopefully you're enjoying Reanimator. This is just one list that's just mind-bogglingly confusing sometimes. <laughs> Go play it at your FNM. Judge, what's this person doing? I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> I have most of the pieces here. I need to pick up a few more. Gotta get the persist. Persist belongs in this list somewhere, though. Uh, Zale, if you're still on, you got the Archons, right? Archon, Archon seems to be pretty good. It's a... Worse Ashen Rider? Because I don't get to target all kinds of stuff, but like... Against creature matchups, it's better than Woodfall Primus. All right, we're 2 2. My opponent's 0 0. They're going to go for the Dream Crush. We're going to go for the 3 2 win. Let's make it happen. Wow, what a hand. Uh, I have all the pieces, but they're not in the graveyard. They're in my hand. Quite literally, all the pieces. We're going to mulligan this. All right, we put Archon back. We've got. Literally all the enable. I have a windswept teeth in here. Oh, I need a watery grave. So, 
I don't think that windswept heat's meant to be in here. Let's go. Oh, razor birds thicket bottles. All right, bird. Another Vesper Lark. Let's go get our hallowed fountain here. No, Godless Shrine so I can play both Stitchers. We're, we're going to Infinity to the Grave. Glass Pool. Ashen Rider. Persist down there as well. Stitcher number one. There's a body double. We're good next turn. We're good next turn. Extra Stitcher here. Let's go. Did I just goof and have that in there, last god? Maybe I did. Stoneforge Mystic, that, that. You can have that. You can have that. Fetchland's probably the best thing to draw here. But Sepsigorio is not a bad thing either. Sort of Feast and Famine. Follows this up with an Aether Bile. Interesting. Oh my gosh. You know what's really cool here? Is evoking a Vesper Lark on a body double. And that body double comes back as Ashen Rider. Ashen Rider blows up Stoneforge, because that's annoying. And then you attack for a pair, and then you just repeat this on oh, Glass Pool Mimic. That's why we have it in the list. There's the sword. The sword is in play. Overgrown Tomb tapped. You should be in the graveyard. But it's okay. Alright. Evoking a Vesper Lark here. We're gonna go get the Glass Pool Mimic now. Glass Pool Mimic ETB copy Ashen Rider. Ashen Rider. Um, let's get rid of the sword. Swing with the team. Including Grab. Thank you. It is a sweet Rhiannon deck, and thank you for sticking around and watching. You have a good Thursday. Urborg for my opponent. We are presenting lethal right now. Just let me get hit by the sword for the discard. We had a fetch land. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to use the fetch land for obvious reasons. We'll go get a eh, basic swamp. Looks fine here. Mill, 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 mill. And we'll swing for lethal. See if it's good enough. All right, bird. Um... It's really not a lot to go get here. I think I'm going to go and just hard cast a Vesper Lark here and pass turn. We'll just hope they can't combo me here. I don't think they can, though. One of the few reasons we run a Glass Pool Mimic. Three drop coming down here. Eternal Witness gets a bird back. Do they have like two birds to block with? And bird one. Triome. Bird two. Bird two. They did it. Well. I guess I'll leave some blockers back here. And with Archons and Vesper Lark, kill two birds with one reanimation spell. Vile going up here. We have two cards in hand. Vile is at three or four. Goes to four. Land is a redraw. They'll take their redraw. They'll need it. Now we could see a ley line of the void from this opponent. Ley line of the void could definitely be a thing we see here. Elish Norn's pretty good, as is Iona here. I don't like Archon as much. I 
We'll bring an Ashiok in. Don't mind the idea of a dam. I also have Collective Brutality. I think it's just going to be like this. Ashiok, Elshorn, and Iona here. Iona's probably going to name Black. Get rid of the uh, stuff there. We're going to just ignore the chance of a Ley Line of the Void. I'm not going to bring the Seal of Cleansing in. You're all going to laugh at me. And we'll cry together. We'll, we'll, we'll mill them out if that's the case. Four crabs in the opening hand. No Ley Line of the Void. Please. Hands great. We'll keep. Whew. No ley line. Let's go. Aether vial. <laughs> Aloe fountain. Crap, go. Gonna go fetching. Can get that what godless shrine we can probably go get. Burning catacombs, fetch. We have an aether violin one, twilight mire, burning catacombs, temple garden, stoneforge mystic. All right, we're back to this. I can definitely kill that if I miss here. Body double's not a bad one to see. Go ahead and go get that godless shrine. Shock it in. Mill, 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 mill. All right, so I see a woodfall primus. I do see a body double over here. Footsteps. Um, I think I'm actually just going to go three modes here. Shoot, shoot, shoot here. And ditch some more stuff to the graveyard. Gonna see what they're doing, which is a whole, whole lot of nothing for us. Okay. This is very manageable, though. They get what? Geralt's Messenger here, plus Strangle Root if they want it. Blossoming was not in hand, or Blooming, sorry. Decides to play the sword, it puts a Geist into play. Tax for two. That's fine. Well, I can go for the mega play here, so let's do it. Crab, Marsh Flats. We'll mill ourselves a bunch here. Oops. I have the stuff just auto going. Mill, mill. Well, we didn't hit what I was hoping for, which was the Iona. We didn't even hit a Vesper Lark to do the persist trick with. Hmm. I guess the best thing for us to persist here at this point is probably going to be the Ashen Rider through Body Double and use that either to kill the creature or the Aether Vial here. Let's get rid of the creature. Creature scares me a little bit more because I can do a little bit more with it. Looking for a Footsteps of the Goryeo or Land into Burial Rites would be good. There's our Overgrown Tomb. Plays Bird. Batter Skull and Geralt's Messenger. Probably plays Geralt's Messenger here. We take two. And equips up. 
It's a 5-4 protection from blue and from red. There's the Iona. Unfortunately, now it's stuck in hand. Play a Stitcher. There's the Elish Norn. Attack for four in the air pass turn. Ugh, Iona's in hand now. It's in the worst spot. Batter Skull and an unknown card. <laughs> Hooks up the bird here. Flies in for two and a little bit more. Interesting choice here. All right. Kills a crab. That's fine. Land, Batter Skull, Unknown card. Hey, thank you for the follow. Well, this is interesting, because now I can Vesper Lark back. I could Vesper Lark back. Actually, I'm just going to hard cast the Vesper Lark. And we're going to swing for four in the air. I'm going to hard cast it because to me, I can block with Vesper Lark, body double, and get Elish Norn back. And they probably won't expect that to happen. And we'll see if we get them a little bit with the leave the battlefield trigger. If not, we keep smacking them with a 4-4 in the air. The Batter Skull is a problem. Maybe we should have held the Vesper Lark for the Batter Skull. If they play that, then I can get like Ashen Rider or Woodfall Primus back. Three green. Three little green pips. The forests. The forests of modern. Eldritch Evolution Garolf's Messenger. This could be bad. Go get Yagi. I assume they're going to get Yagmoth. Yagi. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Combat has begun. Sitting back and chilling. We had a persist. It's probably correct to persist the Ashen Rider. Even though I want to persist the Elish Norn off of the body double. Because they can still block. You could also swing and see what happens. Probably don't need to swing and see what happens. Let's go ahead and persist. Body double. I think I just get the Ashen Rider and get rid of the Og Moth. Keep swinging with our Ashen Rider. Have an extra blocker in the air. Even though I really want the Elish Norn. Oh. 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 Uh, they had a blocker, so it's not lethal. But we're not doing it. They're on our graveyard. Um... They had the blocker too, anyway. Um, do I attack with everything here? Attack with everything, two, four. I can't attack with everything. 
So I attack with just Vesper Lark here. Oh, this has reach. Oh my gosh. I don't... Uh... <laughs> good times. Good times. The card has reach, Fluffy. All right, so what do I need here? It's tough to say since they just endurance me. Need them to attack. I block with Stitcher, find footsteps with an Ashen Rider type of effect. The land. I could find an Imperial Rites now. No Imperial so far. If I fetch, I go to five. Can I live? I guess I have to find the Imperial because I have the germ over here. A barrel? There's Alice Norn. I think we're dead. Because they have also the germ here. I can only attack for four in the air. That puts them to three. They just attack with the four four germ here. I block, 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 take four, five, six, block here, block here, block here, take four. This shoots me to block here, block here, block here, take these. Wait, what happened? Why they sacrifice that? They're going to go put it on the bird. The bird is big now. I think that was a mistake. They're trying to kill Ashen Rider. I think this is hilarious. They should they should continue to do this. Kill the Ashen Rider. Do it. Do it! Slay the Ashen Rider! They've they've made a mistake, I think. I still block this. Obviously, because I die otherwise. And when this dies, I get rid of the batter skull, probably. I could get rid of the, the bird, but can I beat this? Maybe it's just smart to get rid of the bird because it has a sword on it, too. Oh, yeah, because the bird, if I shoot the batter skull, they have the bird because it has vigilance. I shoot the bird. I'll deal with the batter skull later. Need to get rid of the evasive creature here. The battle continues, <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. They got another Endurance here. So they got another Endurance, which means they can go after my Graveyard here. Oh, well, I'll try it. I imagine they have the card for the Endurance because they have plenty of green here. I'll try to evoke a uh, Vesper Lark here on Body Double. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. All right, let's get Elish Norn. Woo! This is an O2 now? Slamming! Let's go! Gotta be cautious how fast I slam, though. Because I know they have Endurance and they have Beefy Batter Skull. Beefy Batter Skull. They can still make this a 6. 6 or whatever. I block with Crab. They go to 12. This is then 7 across their face. And now they have Endurance untapped, so getting things back from the graveyard is just a no-go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> Land. Go ahead and equip your swords up. Attach, attach, attach. Yeah. This is a, it's hard to read this one, but four, six, then it's going to be a six, eight or whatever. 
Oh, they're going to three by a shock in here. This is interesting. I wish I had a way to just pick off my crab here after they attacked. So this is a six, eight. Oh, it has protection from blue. No. What have I done? Oh, I have to block. We'll play on. <laughs> they did want to kill the Ashen Rider. It's weird. We'll play Vesper Lark. It's a 4 3 in the air. We're just going to pass back. I guess I could double block now. Because this is what? Gosh, this is so hard to read. 6 8. Hellish Norn too big. No real reason to block with a Stitcher at this point. Geralt's Messenger dies, undying, because of this card. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to one! I think I die here. Sacrifice another creature. Okay, it has to be another creature. It's not, not itself. But don't they just play Endurance here? Oh, they killed it. Thanks. <laughs> he drew a card. Turn a witness to get it back. Oh my gosh. I dined. <laughs> that was well played. All right, we're going to game three here against my opponent. Game three. Okay. They do have the evolution, which makes me kind of want the other Ashiok. Let me bring this in. A green is obviously the choice on the Iona. I think the Elishnorn's still good. I'm going to take the Glass Pool Mimic off. Go with an extra Ashiok here. Stops them from searching. They do quite a bit of that. Let's make it happen. Let's play first. Hand is decent. Could get myself into a little bit of trouble here. Watery Grave off this. Vesper Lark. We do have two body doubles. Footsteps is really strong in the hand. All right. We're lucky that they still didn't have any ley line. Watery grave. Stitcher, go. Big hits, big hits. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's all lands. The next card would have been a Woodfall Primus. In for one, past turn. This is not good. Now they don't have black at the moment. Strangle root. We'll uh, play defense now. Uh oh. Urborg. They've got plenty of black now. Geralt's messenger. Do they swing? The answer is no. Play new stitcher. Pass turn. There is a body double. We're good for Vesper Lark if we can find a creature. There's Yog Moth. I think they kill me, right? Well, there you go. Crazy game two, fun game one. My opponent gets me on turn four. Uh, if we hit the extra land here and had something else in the yard, it would have been good. But it looks like my opponent can just bounce these back and forth. They lose a little bit each turn, but this kills me a little bit faster. There you go. Reanimator. Getting taken down. Bummer. 2-3. List needs a little bit of help. We'll keep working on it. 
We'll keep working on it. What was our next draw? Oh, can't see. Magic online. But 2-3. Not bad to see. First real kind of league out with the list. It's the Vesperlock Reanimator. We're trying to stay true to trying to be able to reanimate legendary creatures like Iona and Elish Norn. We did end up reanimating an Elish Norn there at the end. Is it maybe just better to have another Archon of Cruelty or the Ashen Rider here? It, it very well could be. Uh, and then do we really need the Unmarked Grave if we're kind of going crazy with the mill strategy? Probably not. You could change the Unmarked Grave to either an extra Burial Rites or add an extra Crab just to give you that oomph in terms of getting things into the graveyard. Vesper Lark, as you kind of saw, it had its place. I like actually 3-3 three, three split of Vesper Lark and Body Double, especially when you can footsteps Body Double with Woodfall Primus and use it to get unpersisted creatures as well. So that was pretty cool. Sideboard really does need a lot of attention i think it's probably just smarter to defend against rest in peace type of effects although that endurance was that's going to be hard to beat in green because it's a creature and we don't really deal with creatures very well so that'll be interesting if there's a lot of aggressive small list though the dams are pretty good the vindicates okay elishorn's not bad I know we have the Seal of Cleansing here. Probably need to just keep it in there and bring it in and be more aggressive when we bring it in for potential Leyline of the Void, Rest in Peace, or other more enchantment-based stuff. We didn't run into Enchantress, another thing that you'd want the Seal of Cleansing for. There you go. First run of Vesper Lark with new Modern Horizons 2 cards. Persist is fantastic. If you don't own Persist and want that for this list, I have a feeling it's going to fit in here somewhere. And I think Archon of Cruelty is probably completely fine to pick up as well. I think Dam's just a good card, so picking up a few of those is probably not a bad idea either. There you go. That's the list.